listen to rap music? How many of you have ever heard of Lil Pump or Smoke Perk? <laughs> but how many of you really know the roots of rap? Where it really came from? How it all started? About the flow and line? Where did it all start? I'll be going through the origins of rap, the West and East Coast <clears throat> the West and East Coast rivalries, and what the rap game is today. I grew up in LA and was exposed to lots of different rap, from Tupac and Biggie to YBN and Amir and TK. By the end of the speech, I want to give you all just a peek into the rap music world and how it all started. <clears throat> Let's start with an explanation of what rap is. It's really just spoken word over a loop or a <clears throat> over a loop or a beat usually repeated over and over again with breaks in between for chorus. It's, it's usually picturing concepts or struggles or just life in general. <clears throat> rap, like anything, is just a general term. There's many categories, including trap, which is kind of more just about beats, lyrical, like Kendrick, who spits flows about his life, his struggles. There's gangster, like 50 Cent, and the game. There's hip hop, more like Eminem, who throws some pop into his music, and G Funk like Snoop Dogg. But where did it all start? How did it actually start? When did flow and rhyme come into it? When did music come into it? <clears throat> According to Elena Orfield from the article Who Started Rap? A Brief Summary of Hip Hop and Rap, she explains that it really came from West African cultures, from almost like elders telling their story about their past using rhyme from sentence to sentence, sentence to sentence. So that's really where it all came from. It started centuries ago and turned into what it is today. <clears throat> we'll jump ahead a little bit to where, where it actually started coming into music. <clears throat> During parties, DJ Cool Herc was here. Thank you. <clears throat> would play songs, but he would extend the instrumentals over and over again, almost cre creating a loop. He was one of the first people to ever create this loop, and he saw that people liked it and he used it to his advantage. So he had one of his friends, Coco Rock, come up with him, and he started spinning flows over it, talking about different things, talking about life, talking about what he did in the day, and it really started to become a hit. <clears throat> go a little forward in time where Grand Wizard Theodore, this guy, accidentally scratches his record, where the needle just jumps on his vinyl, and that created the scratch which everybody knows today, which a lot of people use, like Dr. Dre, lots of producers use it now. <clears throat> These are some of the main key people that started it all by accident, and kind of shaped what it is now. That's just a quick summary of what it is, so now let's jump into what we know about the East and West Coast rivalries, which really kind of influenced what the rap game is today. What was the East and West Coast rivalries? When people talk about the East and West Coast rivalries, we're really talking about LA and New York rappers with their tension. When LA rappers would go to New York, they wouldn't be treated the same as when New York rappers would come to LA. And it created a, a very heavy tension, which turned into a lot of gang violence. One of the biggest West Coast rap groups was NWA. They had a lot of influence on what we hear today, even though you don't realize it. <clears throat> NWA was started by Easy e there in the corner. And he soon had his friends Ice Cube, Dre, uh, MC Ren, DJ Yellow, The Doc, and Arab and Prince all joined, where they would sing about very controversial topics usually got their shows shut down immediately. <laughs> but that's really what, that's a prime example of gangster rap. Rapping about what really life was, and this kind of started, 
<clears throat> what gangs kind of shaped what rap is today. The West and the East Coast rivalries never really flared up until Tupac was shot, which is really sad to say, but he was in his studio, he was in the lobby of the quad recording studio. He was invited by Biggie Smalls and uh, P. Diddy, which were very close friends of his, from the East Coast. When he walked into the lobby, a group of robbers came in and shot him five different times. Tupac thought it was an inside job. This is Tupac, by the way. Biggie Smalls. Tupac thought it was an inside job and it started very, a lot of controversy. And it didn't help that soon after Tupac was shot, Biggie released a song called Who Shot You? This, this is where the rivalries really started to flare up. With Biggie Smalls dropping bars against Tupac and Tupac finishing it with a song called Hit Em Up, which if you have time, you should listen to it and really listen to what he's saying. And you, should, you will see what, why everything happened how it happened. <clears throat> they cleared, uh, the West Coast and East Coast rivalries really shaped the rap game to what it is today. With people talking, oh, I only listen to the West Coast, or I only listen to the East Coast. And it all really ended when Tupac and Biggie were both shot, both in drive, uh, drive-bys. And that kind of just shows how the rap game is slowly changing from gangster rap to more trap and just flowing rhymes. But we'll continue to the present, to the rap game today. <laughs> Some of the most famous artists include Lil Yachty, Post Malone, Travis Scott, YG, Drake, Kodak Black, Little Baby, and Kendrick Lamar. All of them with different styles, with <clears throat> Little Yachty, Travis, YG, and Kodak, and Little Baby all being kind of trap rappers, where they just rhyme over flows that just over and over. And gangster rappers like YG and a little bit of Kendrick, where they talk about their struggles in their life and how they grew up. <clears throat> We can see huge changes if you listen to like Run DMC or the Backstreet Boys to listen to YG today. <clears throat> the flow has really changed from just talking about life to I want to hear some dope beats and only hear dope beats. <clears throat> where words don't really matter, but it's all a part of the evolution of rap. Rap has come a long way from talking about, uh, from talking about history to spinning bars from instrumentals to beats. Rap is evolving culture and the way that spoken word is sought out today. From rapping about poems like Kendrick to talking about cars like Lil Baby. But it's just what rap is. <clears throat>